this is my community garden. One of my objectives is to figure out how to grow plants in a dry environment with little water and without spending too much time watering. Um, I've worked out this system using wicks. Wicks use capillary action to pull the water out of the, of the bottle and down and then uh, down into where the plant is. We just got here. It was 93 de degrees today, and so they definitely needed water. <clears throat> but th this wick system is working out great. The plants are looking good. Like all day long, this is how much this plant used. So I'm gonna top it up, top it off here. I would rather have glass containers or non-plastic containers, but those are harder to come by. Um, you can use cardboard containers. The nice thing about the community garden is that uh, you have a water supply that, that's just like 20 feet away. So that's all set up for you. Also, the nice, another nice thing about the community garden is there's a lot of people that, um, that you can socialize with if you're social. We share uh, gardening tips with each other, which is pretty cool. And maybe I'll, I'll get my neighbors to uh, use some of the techniques I have and I'll pick up some of the, some of the methods that they use. <clears throat> Put water near the plant. On the side that you want the roots to grow and then uh, the plant will will detect that there's water um, in that direction and, and the, the, the roots will grow toward the water source. I punch a hole in the ground with a stick and then I, and then I push the, the cloth down into the hole. It's better not to use uh, fabric that's synthetic because you get uh, chemicals, chemicals leach into the water. I, I tried to use a non-synthetic fabric or rope or cord. To simplify the operation, um, what you could do is you could put tubing from one, one bottle to the next and then use the siphon action, uh, the siphoning to pull the water so that they have all the equal level. And then you can have a, um, like a tank, maybe a, a barrel for water that would, well, what you need is a, a source of water that would stay at the same level. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do in order to get uh, a source of water a constant source of water at the same level and then if I if I do work out that uh, the hose system then that would make it easy. I could just come and add maybe 20 gallons to the tank and be all taken care of the watering portion anyway. There's other portions like weeding and things like that that also still need to be done. <laughs>